How are you, Pete? I'm pretty good today. I'm fine too. Hey, you see my, my presentation? Oh. Hello? Hi. Uh, could you please uh, give me access to share screen? Hello, welcome to all of you. Uh, is it possible to give me rights so I can control the meeting? Recording is Hello. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Uh, may I ask from IAU to give me a uh, right so I can uh, help the people? Yes. Um, oh, hi, Corina. Hi, Dr. Prachi or Tepshika, who is there? Uh, yes, I am there, Corina Prachi. Yes, uh, Prachi, yes. Make uh, Xanti co host. Also, Daphne, Philippe from uh, mm -hmm. USA. USA. And uh, I cannot see uh, Nada yet. Maybe she's not here yet. Yeah, but she said she will join. Okay, I thank was... you talking with her uh, I have made Santi co-host and you as thank well thank you so much and who else just one second Dr. Daphne mm -hmm. Philip I can't see Dr. Daphne not doctor uh, she is registered as Daphne Philip mm -hmm. oh, yeah I made her the co-host there is a DR in front of the name uh, meeting Today we have uh, wonderful schools from Poland, India, Romania, and Lebanon, and the discussion will about education in my country, activities from my school. Uh, we are really lucky to be here because uh, IAU offers us uh, this opportunity to have a different way uh, in our classes and also in our educational systems. Uh, we invite first uh, uh, Dr. Philip, uh, she's from USA, and uh, I will stop sharing my screen in order to have you with us. And she's going to speak about uh, her educational system from her country and, of course, the activities from her school. You are very welcome to share uh, your screen. Well, good morning, everyone. It is morning in the United States. I live in the state of Maryland. Right now, it is about 8.41 a.m. I am keeping it very simple. You know, the United States have three levels, same, I believe, as the India. You have um, pre-K, which is zero to three years old. We um, Let me start the presentation. I, I started writing about activities from the country, but I want to tell you a little bit about me first. This is our agenda. It's very quick. We're just going to do a quicker introduction. We're going to check in with our emotion. We're going to talk about the different type of activities and why are they important. We're going to go summarize it, and then we're going to have the cohort, okay, young people? So welcome. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to participate. I am Dr. Daphne Phillip. I have a doctorate in education focusing on learning instruction and innovation. What does that mean really? I'm just a big gamer. I believe in technology in the classroom. I believe in game to teach, to practice and to apply and solve real life problems. I am math, math certified. I'm STEAM certified, special ed and ESOL almost, but I am very equipped to be able to teach in different languages. 
I also am the founder and the owner of Parallel Parallelogram Institute. However, today I'm going to talk about the school district that I work in, which is one of the largest school districts in the state of Maryland. They have 150 plus students in it and many teachers. So it is very important that you know why it is important for you to participate in school activities. So before we get started, this is for the young people. We're going to do a quick check in. It is something that I do with my students every day because as a math teacher, math is already hard. And I find out the area that I teach, if I don't check the emotion of the kid, it is very difficult for me to continue with the lesson. So now, as part of my routine, I just started checking with the students. So I use visual, you can look at the different color young people, they tell you all about how they feel. So they would pick a picture of the person in front of them, or we, they're gonna be able to just pick a word. So that's what we're gonna do now. So before we get started, I wanna make sure everybody's comfortable, you are sitting well, and I want you to close your eyes real quick because I want you to take one breath. Everybody go ahead and take one deep breath. Breathe in, breathe out, take one more, breathe in, breathe out, take the last one, breathe in, breathe out. Now that you're ready, I want you to look at these folders. And if you have to tell me, how do you feel? So you will start today, I feel I am in which of the color zone. So I want you to take one minute and read each of the color. And I want you to use the chat and let me know which of the zone that you are in. So I'm gonna be quiet. Okay, young people, this is for you. Adults, you can participate to my colleague. Well, you're welcome to do it. But that is something I do for my students. So what is it? How you feel in a certain way actually affect the way you learn a certain lesson or certain task. So it is important that you check with you where you are in your emotion. So I'm gonna check the chat. Somebody, one of the presenters, please help me out by reading out the chat for me because I'm on full Zoom and I won't be able to read it unless I put it in the center. So if somebody can help me out and tell me what is the young people are feeling and what are you feeling real quick, let me know. What zone are you in? Are you in the blue zone? Green zone? A lot zone? of greens. A lot of, A lot of greens. Green. Oh, yes. All right, good. So those are the kind of things I need to know. All right, we're gonna move on because you already take your deep breath. So if you get stuck and you find yourself to be sleepy and bored, all you have to do is do it that same exercise, sit up straight real quick, take one deep breath in, full breath, blow it out, and do that three times just to wake your body up. That will help you refocus back into the lesson that we're teaching today. All right, this is a strategy for the, you know, you can manage your emotion. I'm gonna share that with the uh, presenter so they can feel free to share it with other people here who are interested in learning these things. All right, let's move on. What kind of activities do we have in the United States and secondary? Because I'm a secondary teacher, so I'm certified to teach from six to eight my math, but the six goes from six, which is middle grade, age 11 to 18. That's what we decided to call secondary in the United States. I'm just gonna post the list of all the different activities you, you could have by sports, right? These are all the different sports young people can do after school, after a whole day of learning, they sign up and these are by season. We have the fourth season, which is from um, October. We have the spring season and, we have, and those are the two seasons that we have for sports because one outside sports, we do them early. And then the inside sport, which is basketball, this is the season for it right now. You know, there's a lot of activities you could get yourself involved, especially when it comes to sports. So just read a few that you're familiar with. You have basketball, you have flag football. Young ladies usually do cheerleading. They usually do dance. But we have a lot of young girls also that play football, basketball, and girls in field hockey. So it's not really gender specific. It's just whatever you're interested in. We have some school that their football team and their mini male team are co-ed. What does that mean? It's both girls and boys. So there's a lot of changes that's coming around the, the way in terms of gender-focused sports. Next, we have after-school club. If you are one of those people who are not interested in sports, you could participate in clubs. 
clubs or the different another way you could share who you are with you outside of academic right you could do film club cooking club foreign language this is for the arts if you notice the chess video game another dance club history poetry robotics you know we have all kinds of club that's going to entice initiate and help you be a whole person okay next one why is it important that i participate in sports especially when i have been in school all day i went from class to class i saw so many teachers i get tired sometimes i just really want to go home and get my homework done and then that's it for the day but guess what though it's very important you get involved in the arts because you be creative i'm a math person i love art I love the music, I love the dance. It helps you stay focused, it helps you learn better. So look, when you participate in art, you get an opportunity to be express who you are. You know, you could use it through speech, lecture, report. You notice even though those are academic focus, but you get to decide what the content inside of those activities, right? It's fun, you could do a mural. We have a wall and a gym in my school that the students, they design it and they painted it so that's the arts and the steam that most people like you know it's not about just drawing um architect but you could actually put dances in there you could do theater you could do drawing you could design video games for those of you that are in the games you could design new renewable homes and communities there's a lot you could do with the arts that has nothing to do with academics so you want to make sure you explore some of those activities as well next sports here are the benefits of sports right it also improves your mood it improves your concentration it reduces stress so not only sports teaches a lot of different things but it's also good for your physical body and your mental body as well so now this is what i like about the fact that we are encouraged especially young ladies we are not encouraged here anywhere to participate in team sports as a lot of our male counterpart do so team sport teaches you how to prepare to share the responsibility for your group performance right it also helps you to learn how to be courteous and respectful when you don't get your way when you lose it helps you experience in more strong positive emotions cooperation and compromise it teaches you empathy how to be a good sports what, what happens if you lose when the referee made a wrong call and it caused you to gain you can't go and be very angry you, you still have to learn how to manage those emotions on the spot in the middle of it all and also boost your confidence your self-esteem so the, it's very very important to participate in sports now, like I said, I made it a quick, it's gonna be a quick uh, activity because we all have to go and I want time for you to play games. Let's summarize real quick what we talked about today. We talk about our emotional state, where you are, can you understand, can you see, are you ready? We talk about the two types of activities you could participate in. You could participate in sports or you could do after school clubs based on your interests, based on the things you like to see. And you I also talk about the purpose of those activities and why you as a student should participate in them, especially those of you who are in high school. I saved the last in college here in the United States, especially Harvard, Yale, Cornell, those big Ivy League colleges, they are focusing in the whole child. I know a lot of you got straight A's, you got perfect score because you want to get to those colleges. But now that's not enough anymore. They wanna see what else can you do? What other activity as you, you have done? Some young people volunteer, you know, to have the community clean up. Some young people volunteer in senior home. Some young people volunteer to tutor. So you have to do volunteer work. You have to show that you are a problem solver. You have to show that you're a community leader. And on top of that, and you still have to have the good grade. It sounds like a lot of pressure, it is however if you set it up right you could make your academic pressure and the other stuff you do fun the after school club and the sports are there for you to have fun while are you showing that you could be a complete person okay young people that's what's very key from age 11 to 18 you gotta start thinking of you as two person 
who am I as a student and who am I outside of the classroom? What do I show up as? Am I a dancer? Am I an artist? Am I a sport person? Am I a volunteer? And being participate in that, how does that make me a better person? And that's what colleges in the United States or anywhere is really looking for. They want your best to come to their university and they're gonna train you to be your best outside of the university. So just remember that's all that the activities are for and that's why I like them. Now that I'm done talking, I know I went very fast. I just wanna give you time for the game. What I want you guys to do, I'm gonna put this link. I'm, I'm gonna put this link on the chat. I want you to go ahead and click it. We're gonna play a game called Kohoot. Right? Uh, it's gonna be for everyone. All right, so go ahead and click it. Once you click it, and then I'm gonna want you to copy this pin on it too. And I'm gonna share my screen to see who is participating already. So it's under chat. I'm gonna um, change screen. Okay, so I'm waiting for players. As everybody start logging on, I should see your name pop up right here for me. Is they should have joy. There we go. I see Martin Finch is coming first person. Yes, 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 yes. We have a lot of people in here. Adults, you should participate too. It's kind of fun to see if we go do something faster than the kids, but it's mostly for the young people. We have three. Come on, guys, you could do faster than that. Come on, come on, faster, faster. There's usually a competition in my room to see who's gonna be in the top five people that join in. You get candy, but I can't give you virtual candy, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's competition always in my room. Okay, we got one, one more. Who's gonna be the fifth person? Who's gonna be the fifth person? Come on, come on, Mountain Finch. We got with the first. Bravo. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Come on. But we need more. We need more. We are. Are they having trouble logging in? Oh, I like decisive cat. Go ahead, whoever chose that. That means you like to make decisions and you make them quickly. Good job. I like honest pony. You tell the truth. Give inside lion. I like it. You like to give things. My favorite is balanced squid. Oh, who logged off? Come on, come on. Somebody logged off. Let's go. Glowing right now. Ooh. Agent, finally, somebody's gonna be my spy. So you see who's gonna be. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, clever tiger. So we have an agent in the house. Yes, now we have a clever person. Come on, come on. Who? Oh, Speedy Hamster. Well, if you go too fast, Speedy, you might beat everybody. Come on, guys. Is that come on? There's more students. Let's go, kids. You're gonna like this. There's a there's a leaderboard. Who's gonna be the first? All right. Now, what I'm gonna do to get you an opportunity to see what the game looks like, and if you played this game before, you should already know. If you haven't played, welcome. It's supposed to be fun. Whoa! I like somebody told me clever tigers. That nickname, I love it. I come on. Let's make. Let's see if we can make it to ten people. Oh, somebody dropped off. We're gonna go up, not lower. Come on, guys, come on. So when we get started, you could still join. I don't think you could, I want you to participate at the beginning. So how about one more? Let's make it to 10 so I could get it started, okay? All right, everyone, all right, all right. Let's make it to 10. One more? No, we, we I have one. <laughs> <laughs> come nine. on, kids, it's only a game. It's only a game, yeah, literally. Yeah. Like, Except if you want mathematics. If you want mathematics, we're all teachers. We can change the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And now somebody else dropped off. We're going down as opposed to up. Oh, oh I think it's the game. They ran away. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think they're changing the games. So come on, guys. See, in my classroom, you got to take chances. It's nothing about perfection. I know we just met. Oh, we finally used number nine. But it is fun. I like to have fun, as you can tell. I'm a very, because I teach math. That's the one subject 
and the United States, a lot of people hate. So I have to make it fun. I've been doing 20 years of math and I've made it my business to find all the fun way, all the fun game to teach you, practice your critical thinking skills and your problem solving skill while you're having fun. So I'm gonna get this game started. All right, let's get started. So you're gonna see the question and you are, does taking part in after school club or activities, so which one? What is the question again? Right here, does taking part in after school club or activities help you become a better student? Okay, next. To become a well rounded student, I need to do the following. Question is right here. Okay, let's move on. There's a question right here. What is Pakistan's national sport? Okay. Where sport has been played on the moon? Right here. Good job. Next. What sport activity is this? Good. I see the leaderboard. Ooh, Speedy Hamster. Oh, that's what the right name is. What sport did I mention was my favorite sport? Oh, I didn't think I said that. My favorite sport is football and soccer. <laughs> I thought that question was there. Good. Next. Ooh, Speedy, you still in there. Good job. Physical activity helps improve sleep. Good. Let me see. Oop, Speedy still. Anybody not going to hurry up and take Speedy on? Get him out. What are my favorite sports? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, next. What activity helps strengthen the heart? The question is right here. Good, good, next. Which of these sports are not offered in school? Which of the question is right here. Good, I like it. Which activity you can do at school?
Oh, right. Remember which activity you can do at school. So if you look at the other questions, they're not appropriate for you to do while the teachers are teaching. That was a trick question. That's what we call a trick question. What sport is best known as the king of sport? Everybody, what's the king of sports? Football. Yeah, if you Google it, you'll find out. I know you guys were going to play soccer. That's why I put it. Playing sports help me to stay focused. True or false? Colleges and university only look at academic grades as part of the admission criteria. True or false? I did say that at the summary, right? That's false. They want to see a whole child. What is the most commonly played sports around the world? You guys, Dennis, you could Google that too. And it's placed everywhere. What is the national sports of the United States? Come on, everybody, take a guess. It's just a game. Take a guess. Guess, guess, guess. Yeah, baseball. Which port isn't played on ice? Which of these ports is not played on ice? Scott. Good. Lacrosse, that play outside. Speedy Hampson, I'm loving it. I wish you were in my classroom. We offer golf as a sport, true or false? Mm -hmm. It's false. The school system does not offer golf, but students, parents pay for after school private lessons. That's just after, but we know the school system won't pay for it, at least not yet. Physical activity improves cognitive thinking, true or false? True or false? True or false? Oh, good. Yes, it does. Physical activity helps me all but what does it not do for me? No, nope, it does not give me healthy teeth. That's why it does not all but healthy teeth. Trick questions, speedy hamster. Which of the following is not a healthy activity after school? Here's the question right here. Hold on, Lebanon, I see your hand. Okay, hold on. Yeah, Fortnite is not a healthy game because you're sitting in that working out no that's not good to do
what school activity is this? Yep, swimming. We are almost done. What are the three most popular sports in the United States? Here's the question. So take your time, basketball, volleyball, soccer, tennis, swimming and golf, baseball, football, basketball, gymnastic, track and figure skating. <laughs> Yes, perfect. I'm bet you that hamster. Education is the key to change our future. True or false? Right. Somebody says false. <gasps> No, we offer baseball as a sport. All right. All right, so now you're going to see normally there will be dancing stars going on, but we want to make sure we have time at the end of my classroom speedy hamster. Everybody, I want you to come off your mic and clap, 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 clap for Speedy Hamster. He picked the right nickname. Congratulations. Educators, I do have the link to share this game with you. If you're interested, I will definitely do that. But thank you so much, everyone, for playing full out. Like I said, if you are in my room, I'll give you, I'm going to give you virtual. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here with us. You could be anywhere else, but you're here at the night list to us getting some more information and this is why i believe and i work with young people because you guys are fabulous and wonderful so i am done i lend my mic thank you so much i was pretty hamster <laughs> well done <laughs> yes good 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 uh we need to thank uh, dr philip for the wonderful presentation i personally i enjoy it with the kids <laughs> i like it yes. And yes. uh, uh, we'll give some time uh, to Professor Nada Ratkovic. Uh, she is going to be the next presenter. And after that, all the needed time to the kids. Do you agree? Oh, yes. Hold, yes. May I ask anybody have any questions before we leave? Thank you guys for playing. And have any I think questions? we are going to have a lot of time after the okay. presentation to ask okay. anything or to present or to share with us. It is going to be their time. So, okay, good. Uh, Thank you so much again, uh, Professor Nada Radkovic. You can join us with uh, any info you want to share with us. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Philip, for your great presentation. Uh, so uh, I'm Nada Radkovic, and I'm so excited to be here like a trainer with these amazing students I see here because I'm here every day and I watch the students who join us. Uh, what I want to show today, uh, I want to show, uh, I will share my screen. Just a moment. Is it visible? Yes, it is. You can proceed. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so today's topic is education in my country and activities from my school. Uh, I'm Nada Ratkovic, professor from Croatia, and I work in uh, high school, and also I work like a professor assistant on the Faculty of Economics, Business and Tourism in Split. And I'm a proud member, board member of IAU and country director of Croatia. 
uh, today uh, here uh, I want to first introduce my country, a few words about uh, Croatia, a beautiful country in the central and southeast Europe. Uh, our population is 4 million. We are not a big country, but uh, I can say we are a beautiful country with 21 counties and we are a member of European Union, United Nations, VETO, uh, Council of Europe and Mediterranean. We are famous for tourism. We have many other fields, but uh, tourism is on our first place because we have great Adriatic Sea and we have more than 200 islands. Uh, the 16 most beautiful places you must visit in my country <clears throat> are the national parks, uh, town Dubrovnik, Arena, Island Hvar, uh, Split, which is nearby my, um, nearby my town. Uh, on this picture is my town scene. Uh, Dubrovnik, the, uh, the most beautiful uh, beach on the world is like Mirat and the island Mali washing. So this is the 16 most beautiful places, but uh, we have uh, many uh, more. So here are a few pictures because my topic is not to, to show the uh, beautiful things of my country, but I'm not. Nada. So, Nada. Yes, yes. Sorry to interrupt you, but uh, your slides are not moving. I, I can say just uh, the first slide. I don't know how it's for others. Yeah, you're right, uh, Corina. Same to us. Uh, I go, I go more further. I will start uh, sharing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and try again. Uh, I was, <laughs> I go to. Okay, full screen mode if it's possible. So yes, yes, I make. It. Yes, I make it. But uh, as you say that it is not moving now. Is it now? Okay. Yeah, we can see the slide now. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, so here are four of our national parks: Mlet, Krka, Briuni, Ornati. And here I show a few places, and we have a big history, a big tradition, big culture, uh, great uh, nature, great mountains, rivers, uh, lakes, and as I said, sea. Uh, what about the uh, education system in Croatia? Uh, so we have primary education, secondary education uh, with uh, high school, uh, four years vocational schools, uh, which we have gymnasiums and trade schools, three years, that is like for the waiters, beauticians and other. Uh, we take a lot of care about uh, sustainable development goals. We have many uh, grants for this uh, field and I hope that we will really make a lot till 2030. Uh, and also I can say for education that in my country we are ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education for lifelong learning. Uh, so here I will repeat primary education, secondary education and higher education where we have universities. Uh, what can we choose? What programs? We have public, private kindergartens, many programs like full day programs, preschool, shorter and afternoon uh, programs. Uh, about the primary education, we have a lower primary school from first to fourth grade and upper still five to eighth grade. Uh, here still, is sorry, we still see the slide with uh, tourism. I don't know what's happening, but I, I uh, maybe I will go without uh, without uh, the the projection because uh, I think it's better. If you don't because you need to click to share your entire screen you just chose to share a window and we won't be able to see it that's why yes i share it i share it but i will go on this way because i don't know what's happening yeah that's nice now yes it's moving it's okay yes we will we will uh, left it like this mm -hmm. uh so uh here as I said, secondary education, I'm working uh, in a vocational high school. 
uh, and uh, my students and in my school we have graduated graduation exams and the exams are from Croatia language math and English but you can choose uh, more more subjects uh, it is depending about what you want to study so if you want this uh, medicine you must choose biology chemistry or some uh, other uh, university uh, that is about the higher education and we have a bologna process so our students when they uh, exam uh, when they make an exam uh, they get ects credits like uh, almost uh, countries in european union uh, this is my high school uh, we are a great school. We are an e-training school. We are United Nations schools. We are a vocational schools under European vocational uh, weeks, Erasmus Plus. So I'm really proud on my school. Uh, here are some brochures. They are in Croatian, but I can say that we have, as I said, uh, the exams uh, we have uh, for three years, like waiters, beauticians, uh, uh, salesmen, and we have economics, uh, commercialists. We have a medicine school, and we have many, many uh, here uh, programs. Uh, what will I show today? Uh, I will show some project activities, uh, what I do with my uh, students. Uh, I can call that 365 days together. Why? Because we are uh, really every day together and we have many, many projects. Here I will show uh, some of that projects, like example, for one, uh, only for one class. So there is no uh, event that we don't celebrate. We start from World Food Day, Erasmus Days, World Statistic Days, European Coding Week, World Vegan, every, every event we celebrate. Uh, what we do and what we need for do this uh, project, so we need ICT, ICT tools and uh, my students are really digital literacy and we use many, uh, uh, it, uh, it affairs about uh, what we will do, are, are we doing infographics, are we doing coding, what we do, uh, are we making, uh, uh, are we making uh, a research uh, and use uh, some statistical program. That is what we choose. So they are really digital literacy, but I must say that, uh, that we uh, teachers, professors today must be multidisciplinary. If we are not multidisciplinary, we cannot, uh, we cannot teach our students. So if I don't, if I'm not a critical thinker, problem solver, innovator, I cannot uh, teach my students to be uh, to be a student of 21st century. Uh, here, uh, I will show some projects. We do many, many national projects, many European, and also do global projects. Here is one e-training project. I like when doctor started today. I uh, uh, I have uh, I really like to start uh, also uh, with that to take a deep breath, take a three time deep breath, and make a balance between your mind and brain. Because today a positive emotion, a social emotion, and our life and our well being is very necessary we don't live a healthy life we almost sit we are all uh, every day uh, always uh, using this computer and i think that we don't take care a lot about our food uh, about our wealth uh, this is one e training project breathe deeply and think uh, clearly uh, here uh, we make many e-training, as I said. So how we do that? Uh, we, uh, like 2020 year, was a year of climate change and environmental challenges. Uh, this 2021 is media literacy and disinformation. So now 
uh, it, uh, we still don't know the topic of 2022. So uh, in January, when we know the topic of 2022, uh, we will start uh, with, uh, uh, with a project on this topic. Uh, I can say that all uh, students that I uh, teach are involved in this project. Uh, they really like that project. Why? Because this is a collaborative work. Uh, they, uh, they are brushing their skills. They are learning a language. They are learning new digital tools. They are learning new colleagues from around the Europe. So we have many, uh, we have many partners from Turkey, from Poland, from Italy, and from many from Portugal, from Spain, and we are really uh, doing a lot, lot of projects with uh, the other countries. Uh, here are some I I I put here uh, only some things that we do in some parts of the modules and. Uh, these on, they are almost uh, digital. In, they, uh, you make it in the, uh, by digital tools like uh, Canva, uh, or uh, we really uh, left the students to uh, choose uh, uh, which uh, digital tool they want for, like example, for uh, some kind of uh, ebook, uh, for some kind of a poster or. They, ha they can do, they like strips, so they like to do mind maps, uh, everything. Uh, this is that. Uh, here also in this project, we make many solutions. How to take care, how to, uh, how to take care about our climate. Uh, here we, we have newspaper, so there is no field that we don't touch in this project. Uh, also, we use uh, we we make uh, uh, we use uh, uh, echo wool for this traditional. We have many workshops uh, with our uh, with our uh, citizens who are doing uh, this uh, uh, this traditional clothes. Uh, I called uh, some some projects like green and digital transition in new normal why green and digital transition in new normal uh, because they are all green and digital uh, like green literacy global project climate action project e student for greener future see here the yellow frame and also in this part we include the stem projects uh the most thing we like to do and my students like that is what we are doing today here we are here like trainers and we have a uh, we uh, we make a virtual exchange experience for with students from many many countries uh, last week uh, we have an exchange with australia so we are really participating participated in this and i think their students their students, this is the best way to learn and to introduce uh, uh, and meet other students and to take. Uh, uh, so I will be really happy that uh, our students today uh, will be in contact also later. And maybe uh, as we are trainers today, doctor from USA, me from Croatia, maybe we can make uh, some lessons by our students. This is that class to class virtual exchange experience. And here our students are finding solutions, solutions, and they are solving the problems. This was uh, one project from last year. Uh, I think this year, but it is past. Uh, it uh, goes after the climate action project. Uh, then here are the STEMs in Europe. Uh, we have STEM Discovery Campaign uh, Week, and we uh, we participate every year uh, with a few projects. Uh, and also, what we do, uh, we uh, my students uh, uh, write also an article on the topic. Uh, 2021 was green and digital, uh, and they make. Uh, 
article like combating climate change. So there are many opportunities, there are many activities where the students can be involved. European Code Week. European Code Week we make also every year and we uh, do it also from um, on e-training and we do from our with our partners from other countries. Here also our students participate. Like I'm a professor of statistics. What I learned my students here learn coding. Like example, you have a, a female and male. Uh, that is one comment that you must code before you start make research and analysis. And I learned them coding. And what is good for me? For me is really good that, that I'm a high school professor and a faculty university professor. And my students, when I learn them, like example, if they decide to go on economic faculty, I am there again with them. So I know their needs, what they need for, uh, for the faculty. And I learned them coding. Uh, Erasmus days, as I said, we make Erasmus project and uh, we must disseminate that project. Uh, and that is why we have uh, and celebrate Erasmus days every year. Let's celebrate together. Volunteer Day, uh, many, many activities. Uh, in my town, uh, we have uh, uh, many, uh, uh, I can say, school for students with special needs. They are our friends. We are visiting them every month. We are making workshops and we are uh, like uh, uh, for a few days, we are going to visit them and we are going to make with them Christmas workshop. We will help them to make greeting cards and we will help them to make uh, uh, Christmas cookies and cakes. Save for Internet Day. Uh, Save for Internet Day also. Uh, we, uh, if you want to be an e-twinning school, you must uh, uh, be uh, 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 you must be a school uh, with uh, digitalization on high level. And uh, if we if we, if we, if we use uh, internet, Facebook, Instagram, uh, if you use uh, many data, uh, uh, we must protect our students. We must protect the data, uh, and uh, that is why we are doing this Safer Internet Day. Uh, as I said before, every project must be disseminated. If we don't disseminate the, pro the project, uh, it is not good. Uh, and uh, from us, uh, Europe is uh, asking to make this dissemination. If we get uh, like example for Erasmus, uh, um, money and a big amount of money, uh, we must disseminate that project uh, on the national level and also on the global level. And we uh, have uh, here, like a vocational school, uh, make every year European Vocational Skill Weeks. Unfortunately, this year we don't have it and we share our story every year. Uh, E-Student for Greener Tomorrow, that was our activity last year. Uh, we involved uh, three, uh, we involved uh, two schools, uh, uh, two, uh, two, two economic schools, and our students make uh, this E-Student for Greener Tomorrow. We make green money, uh, we celebrate, uh, uh, as I said, digital literacy, not only digital literacy, media literacy, eco literacy. Uh, here is one of our European projects also when Croatia was, uh, uh, was having a presidency of European Union. We also get money uh, for this project. Uh, here are some uh, posters, some uh, maps, uh, uh, every hour, uh, every hour uh, event, we mark on the European map, and it is really official. It is not. A, a, it is not only in your classroom. 
we mark all on the maps and it is visible to everybody all around the world take care a lot about uh, we uh, this uh, our nature said now we are making we will make greeting cards with our friends as i said with the students with special needs from recycle paper uh, here is one game uh, because my students are uh, i will talk a little about the competitions we are now making a statistic train a statistic train will help them to uh, be a bigger critical thinker and uh, and to solve problems easy uh, one also a training project we call it the virtual fair of uh, of, of the trains uh, uh, what is this this is a project from idea to realization we make a <clears throat> we make a, a really a business from starting to the end and this this promotion materials may is made by my students a uh, project echo ethno village sinania also also a big project from idea to realization you see what they do what kind of posters uh here are our food we uh, this is uh, eco food natural food uh our newspapers uh all and uh this this uh, uh this activity is before we're you we're with using ict but you can make great projects without ict like example this festival of science color called colors my students are drawing this uh this pictures this is their their work uh, and they show the way of Alcar colors. Uh, you can see here how uh, you can do this all in the school because we must uh, uh, we must make uh, uh, our lessons. But we have a, fl a flipping classroom, and this they made at home. You see how they are making the colors. Another festival of science here uh, like i said this year is uh, uh for e training uh media literacy year we have uh, we make uh, a media literacy culture of science that event uh, competitions many many competitions business challenge the idea of year student dg digital entrepreneur incubator protect the uh, corona virus and many international competitions and nationals this is business challenge uh, uh, sorry to interrupt you but we are uh, over the time already okay uh, I will, I, uh, i'm i'm soon i'm soon i will Okay. We need to give some time to the kids because today we are going to finish uh, this meeting 15 minutes earlier. They have uh, another okay. meeting after that. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So we make many competitions. I must say that from every project, we'll, we do it for the competition. We have excellent results. Uh, we have many gold medals and I'm really proud, Professor, on myself and on my students so uh many awards here after our competitions we make celebrations as you see here i have a great relationship with my students so welcome to our school and croatia and thank you for your attention thank you so much for your presentation uh it was really wonderful and we saw so many things so wonderful projects and now it's time to listen to our students yes. uh, kids please be ready to share with us your questions your ideas or anything else you prepared uh, in order to have uh, a, a nice dialogue please write your names on the chat box so we can give you uh, the needed time to ask questions both presenters or to to show us anything you want i see some uh, raising hands uh, i don't i don't see nothing i see only here uh, professor phil yes, phil uh, I uh, Mohammed? Yes. 
Mm -hmm. uh, can you hear me? Yes, sure. Yes. Uh, hello, everybody. I prepared a PowerPoint about uh, some activities that we do in our uh, in my school. If you if you don't mind, just make Zainab Arzuni a co-host because my PowerPoint is with her. I can't I can't share. Can you co-host so you please? Uh, you need co-host rights. Yes, to Zainab yeah. Arzuni. So, uh, who is going to present from you? You're the lady. Uh, yes. Uh, I will present his presentation. Okay, but he is gonna speak. Can we have a box to uh, Zainab? I can't. I can't share. Uh, can you do it? No, I am Zainab Arzuni, not Zainab Mazah, because there are two Zainab. Please, please try now. Now I can. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you, Corina, for your help. Can you see my screen now? Uh, it's coming. Okay, we can see it now. Okay, please. Uh, yeah. So it's a whole public high school. My school is. <laughs> please uh, show. Okay. Uh, Shahor Public High School uh, care about uh, not just care about the uh, education of its students uh, uh, or uh, please get back to the to the slide. Okay, uh, Shahar Public High School uh, doesn't care uh, only about the uh, Sorry. Is it any problem with the sound? Can you hear me? Now we can hear you. Okay, uh, Shahar Public High School, a school that doesn't only care about the future of its students in education domain, but also care about giving them the knowledge uh, in all life domains. Uh, for that, its manager and teachers uh, prepare the best activities to teach us more about life, festivals, and more. And this is a picture of, uh, of uh, our class uh, doing an activity in English session. Okay. okay. Next slide, please. Okay. So, um, my school's main aim is to prepare us, students, uh, for life, enhance our minds, build our personalities and self-confidence. Our manager and teachers are more than teachers. They are mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, and even best friends. It's a school of love and affection. Affection, sorry. Okay, now uh, I'll share with you some activities of my school. Next slide. Okay, first activity is Independence Day. Our school is a Lebanese school. Um, as a Lebanese school, cares a lot about celebrating this special event that moved Lebanon from humiliation into dignity. For that, our teachers every year prepare a special activity to revival this event. This is a Lebanese flag at the left. Next, please. And this is a video uh, that shows uh, the activity that we done uh, at uh, Independence Day. Uh, there's no sound, I guess.
Yeah, I think he lost his connection. We can see the. No, no. Uh, the slide. The connection is okay. I can see him. Ah, okay. Okay. I think they want to to show us the activities without to, to describe. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, it should be with voice, but uh, I guess the sound is not okay. Okay, so here there were there was a white blank that uh, uh, we painted uh, Lebanese flags and some uh, something related to Lebanon on it, and the Independence Day celebration. Yes. Okay. Um, I want to campaign for domestic violence. Uh, my school always uh, gives us lessons and aware us in different life fields. And from these fields, most troubles uh, that women are facing in their life, like domestic violence. So they invite students to make videos about this issue. And also I will share with you a video that uh, a student done. Can you play the video? This is a student from high from Shahorha Public School that uh, did this video about domestic violence. So as you can see here, stop violence. Yeah. Okay. My talents are grown by my school. So how a public school works to get every student's talent, work on it and grow it. From the common terms in my school is related to art. So uh, there is a specific uh, session for art to, to let students explore uh, their talents in this session. And uh, here I will show you some of the paints that students have done. As you can see here, all um, last but not least, uh, IIU BCAP. So the most interesting activity that our school gave us the opportunity to share in is IIU BCAP program. This program had its positive impacts on us as students, where it opened uh, it opens our minds in different countries, festivals, traditional food, and monuments, and gave us the chance to express our ideas and share uh, uh, our thoughts. Not just that, it also enhanced our self confidence. Where this program flies with uh, with our self confidence to above the stars. Uh, and just that, thank you for listening. Thank you so much, Mohammed and Zainab from Lebanon. Uh, it was really impressive, all the work you did, and I liked a lot also the uh, art paintings. Well done to all of you, to all the school. Uh, I need to ask uh, our coordinator, Corina, if uh, we have time uh, to uh, uh, for another kid or not. I'm sorry, but tonight, no, because uh, in uh, 
um, less than 15 minutes we have to go live in another event you are all invited there it's a Romanian uh, um, concert so IAU is involved in this so we have uh, to be there thank you very much to all of you and please excuse us for this you will got the chance the next days and maybe they can uh, follow us uh, during the yes. concert and uh, tomorrow you are invited to continue from uh, exactly the the point we start today have a good time tonight good luck with your concert corina thank you so much for inviting us here and uh, of course iiu uh, all of you are a wonderful team. See you tomorrow and uh, let's enjoy the concert. Good all night. Thank you, Corina, for the concert. Thank you very much. See, See you, you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.